BBC News. One of Britain's most successful gymnasts says British gymnastics could have done more over recent years to tackle what he believes is a culture of bullying within the sport. Daniel Keating spoke out when he retired in 2017 after a decade in the sport and more athletes have now come forward raising concerns. British Gymnastics has announced an independent review will take place following allegations of mistreatment from a number of athletes in recent days. Here's our sports correspondent, Natalie Perks. Dan Keatings was one of Britain's most successful gymnasts. A decade in the sport brought a haul of world, European and Commonwealth medals. Three years ago when he retired, he exposed what he called British gymnastics culture of bullying, manipulation and weight shaming in the hope it would lead to change. The same CEO, Jane Allen, who assured him that under her leadership, athletes' welfare was given the highest priority, is still in place. Obviously, she should have done a lot more, I feel. Um, being at the top, but I think there's there's a lot of people involved that should have done a lot more as well. It is a culture fear, there's no doubt about it, and honestly, nobody speaks up. I've got a two-year-old son, and there's, there's no chance I'm going to let him do gymnastics as it is right now because of what I've been through and what I know other teammates have been through. In the last two decades, UK sports no compromise approach to only giving cash to sports which could deliver British Olympic glory has reaped rewards. But at what cost to athletes? On Tuesday, UK Sports said allegations coming from gymnasts are shocking and upsetting and that those responsible must be held accountable. But the BBC has seen emails from just last year showing UK Sport knew of allegations of abuse in gymnastics. Last summer, two different parents separately emailed UK Sports Head of Integrity regarding different allegations around safeguarding and alleged abuse. Now, one of those emails read, I still hope that one day someone will finally listen and prioritise the welfare of children over medals. Perhaps you will be that person. A meeting to discuss it was set up and then cancelled. UK Sport has told the BBC there is absolutely no place in sport for abuse or bullying of any description. It is important to note that UK Sport doesn't have the authority to intervene in employment matters within a sport, but we are absolutely committed to draw on all available measures to ensure that the high performance system is a safe environment for all athletes. Jennifer Pinches was in the British squad in London 2012. She started a social media movement last week that led to many gymnasts sharing their stories online. She's glad British Gymnastics has now set up an independent review and wants athletes to be heard. There's a difference between tough coaching and abusive coaching um, and it's finding where that, that line is. It's kind of a tricky grey area to define what exactly, where exactly things are going wrong. Um, which is why we kind of all need to come together and um, I identify where the areas are that we can put systems in place that actually cause a solution. British Gymnastics says they're here for every gymnast across the country and nothing is more important than their welfare. Gymnasts are now hoping this will be the change they've called for. Natalie Perks, BBC News. The US Supreme